Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're having problems with Battlefield 2042 not launching, this video is for you. I'll try my best to help you. I know how annoying it is, and we're just when you just want to play the game. So I'll help you fix this uh, problem. I'll try my best to help you because I just know how uh, frustrating it is for you. So make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to my YouTube channel. I post daily tutorials on this YouTube channel. I just love pretty tutorials and it just means a lot. Uh, if you subscribe and like, I'll just help a lot. And now let's jump right into the video without wasting any second. So I'll show you a couple of ways to fix this problem. The first method. The first method is to simply update your drivers. So first install this uh, this driver first. This one over here, direct uh, direct X and user runtime web installer. Make sure you do this and then you head over to the other page that I'll leave in the description of this video. You click on this, install, and then the next one. GeForce drivers, if you have an NVIDIA graphic card, make sure you download uh, this and it will install for you, identify, and, uh, analyze, you will automatically look if there's any drivers that you don't have, you should have, and uh, we'll just install it for you, we'll do the work for you, and if you have an AMD, uh, you can also click on download now, that's very important, and as well as, you can also go to Windows, this is what worked for me, uh, you, I simply went here, and also you have to install the layers of uh, Windows updates, it's very important, but there is a very interesting here trick here, if you go advanced options, go optional updates, and you go to Windows, uh, sorry, driver updates here, you, sh you should have uh, a lot of updates that are available, uh, drivers, sorry, not updates, but I mean, yeah, driver updates, make sure you check and you click on download and install. Another method uh, I learned from my friend, if you actually right click, if you go to properties, so if you right click on Steam and you go to properties, and here, if you go to compatibility, compatibility, and you run this program as administrator, this can fix the problem as well. So thank you guys for watching, make sure you try all the methods I showed you in this video and let me know in the comment section if this video helped you, let me know which method fixed the problem for you and uh, make sure you subscribe for daily tutorials, I really appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching and take care.